In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Gemini's AI text to image generator. And I'm going to be answering the question, is it any good? And what other free alternatives are there that you can also use? So how do we get to Google Gemini? So Google Gemini used to be called Google Bard. So if you go ahead and go to Google and just type in here, Google Gemini, you should be able to find it. It should be the first one. Go ahead and click on the first link and it will take you straight into Gemini. Now, what you need to know about Google Gemini is it is in beta and it doesn't always give you the prompt that you're asking for. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a prompt here. Now to generate an image, you need to go ahead and say here, generate an image and then give them your prompt. Now you can give them a detailed prompt and sometimes they'll give you a really good image. Sometimes the image won't be that good at all. So we're going to come up with a prompt here and see if it can generate it. So we're going to go ahead and enter in here, generate an image of a tractor with the sun setting in the background. And we're going to add here photo realistic and we'll see if Google Gemini is up to the task. So we'll click enter and see if it can generate an image. Now, like I said, sometimes it gives you a good image. Sometimes it doesn't. It's still in beta. So let's see if it can actually generate an image here. So you can see this one's actually quite good. You can kind of tell it's AI though. This one is terrible. This one is also pretty bad. Now for photo realistic images, Google Gemini is not that great. Now I asked it earlier to generate me an image of a bullet train, make it futuristic. And we kind of got some decent results here. Here I said, generate an image of a person surfing and it didn't give me an image at all. Here I said, give me an image of a penguin holding a carrot cartoon. And we kind of got some images that kind of match the prompt. And then this one, generate an image of a penguin going down a roller coaster. Happy big eyes. We got these, which I mean, they're all right. They get the job done. Now, if you wanted to generate more images from the prompt, click generate more. And it's going to then give you more images. What is this? <laughs> This is why I would not recommend Gemini. The more accurate of the prompt that you give Gemini, ideally the better image it creates, but sometimes it just struggles. Like, I have no idea what is going on here. <laughs> Let's try one more prompt here. So I'm going to say here, generate me an image of a piece of bread as like a sticker in a cartoon format. So we'll click here, enter and see what it can generate. So here we've got some images which kind of look OK. Now, in my opinion, would I use Google Gemini if I want to use their AI image generator? No, I would go ahead and use Bing's AI image generator, which is free and it can generate much more advanced and high quality images. So that's Google Gemini. Maybe it will get updated in the future. But for now, I would just stick to chat prompts because it can't really generate great images. That's how to use it, though. I hope that did help you out.